What the hell is going on, people? This is Periodic, and I'm back doing manga reviews for One Piece Chapter 904. Uh, that is 904. The commanders of the Revolutionary Army appear. So I have to confess, I did read a few spoilers about this chapter, so I kind of know who's going to be popping up. But spoilers sometimes are not true, so we'll see what happens. If you guys don't remember, in chapter 903, it was probably one of the biggest chapters in One Piece in quite a long time. Uh, Luffy's bound, new bounty was revealed. A little bit embellished. Let's not let's not pretend like it wasn't embellished. Uh, Morgan and the rest of the news corporation did help out Luffy in kind of embellishing and kind of uh, fake newsing his his uh, story of how he defeated Big Mom, how he you know uh, bared his fangs at Big Mom and still was able to survive. He defeated two of uh, her commanders and he pretty much got into a fight with her and she's the one that ended up losing the you know, the the scrap, let's just say. So, yeah, it, it's just like a, a huge embellishment. We know that didn't really happen. We know that Luffy didn't band together all these different, you know, pirate crews, the fire tank pirates, the sun pirates, etc., etc. It's all by chance and circumstance, which is what Luffy does. Now, he is really good at, you know, bringing people to his side, but it definitely wasn't <laughs> of the like that, uh, that it was told in the newspaper. Now his bounty has jumped up from 500 million to 1.5 billion, which is pretty insane. Uh, I believe the biggest jump we've ever seen. That's a triple jump. That's a three times jump, which is crazy. But anyway, let's get into chapter 904. The commanders of the Revolutionary Army appear. The front cover uh, appears to be um, Orlumbus in front of most likely his king i'm not sure what that sign says dropping in on the lives of the straw hat uh, grand pirate fleet volume 34 or lumbus arc standing kingdom retiring from pioneer expeditionary post interesting so it looks like he's retiring from his kingdom or lumbus is obviously supposed to be columbus uh this is most likely his work for was it spain or portugal i, I want to say it was spain when columbus was was working for spain and he was an expeditionary for spain um so yeah this is supposed to be the same kind of gimmick here except that or Lumbus is working for whatever kingdom, and he is, um, I don't know if it's called the Standing Kingdom, I guess that's that's the name of it, that's a weird name for a kingdom, but uh, he's retiring from his post because he is now in the Luffy Grand Fleet. All right, let's 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 keep going. Mamoro Island, Kamabaka Kingdom. A rich place. Having lost their long-held stronghold at Baltigo, the revolutionary armor shifted the location of their planned commander's meeting and their headquarters itself to this island. So that's interesting because that's saying that Baltigo was their long-held stronghold. Okay, we already knew that. That was kind of their base of operation. But it's showing that the entire revolutionary army was not at Baltigo because they shifted the location of their planned uh commander meeting to this place so not all commanders were at baltigo that's very interesting because most likely since they had to leave they most likely had to retreat from blackbeard because if you don't remember uh jesus burgos ended up on a boat with the revolutionary armies after he was defeated by sabo landed on baltigo and informed the rest of the blackbeard pirates um which i think is composed of six ships to head to Baltigo and just like mess it up. And then we saw in a quick snippet of a newspaper that Baltigo had been like decimated pretty much. Um, but this is showing that they're still having their commander meeting, so they must have just retreated. Uh, let's see how heavy their losses were against the Blackbeard Pirates. Uh, there's uh, Ivankov and Dragon next to her, and um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Koala. And then, um, man, why can't I remember the uh, the two-haired, two-colored haired person's name with the scissors? I can't remember. Uh, Nothing less to be expected from your bloodline. Straw Hat Boy is a fine man. So it looks like they're getting the news of the 1.5 billion bounty and the fact that the news now considers um, Luffy a Yonko. And to think that Sanji Boy was a prince of the Germa 66. He never told me a word about it. Uh, how cheeky. After this, uh, so that's Dragon. After this incident, the German were ejected from the world government. Interesting. So I wasn't, even, I didn't even know that they were involved in the world government. But why would they be ejected from the world government? I guess if they're trying to set up a deal with Big Mom and Big Mom is a Yonko, the world government probably really disliked the Yonkos. So okay, that makes sense. And seriously, where is everyone? They should have already been in the area, but. 
Sabo, what have you uh what what have you been up up to in that corner over there? <laughs> Sabo's just laying on the ground. He's got like hearts over his head, freaking little lines are coming out of his face. Um he's been rereading the article about Luffy and grinning to himself so much that his face cramped. Isn't that right, Mr. Chief of Staff? You idiot! Freaking Sabo Dovey. Pring. Uh, so it looks like a Denden Mushi is calling. Lindbergh reporting. What's the matter? Everyone's waiting for you over here. Sabo, there's some trouble going on nearby. I'm going to need a bit more time to get there. Got it. As long as you're safe. Interesting. So Lindbergh. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if we've seen that name before. Maybe we have and I just missed it. Ah, how thrilling. All the commanders of the Re Revolutionary Army are assembled here. We'll get to meet Commander Morley, right? I'll definitely go after Commander Betty. So it looks like all of the people from the um, from Ivanka's Island are just chilling there. And there's Dragon Sabo. Let's fir finalize our plans first. At this year's reverie, we'll finally... And Sabo's like, declare war, right? Against the Celestial Dragons. So very interesting to know. By the way, this is Sabo looking pretty dope with dragon in that shot there there you go you can kind of see him um very interesting like we understand that the celestial dragons have quite a bit of power and are the ancestors and of the original people who created the world government but from what i understood there's not many of them there's not a lot of them left so hmm interesting okay let's keep going uh, page five, Grand Line, uh, Lul Lulushia Kingdom Harbor. Help! Someone help! Robert Dry, where are the Marines? And we got Peachbeard Pirates Captain Peachbeard Bounty, 52 million berry. So he is um, the captain of the Peachbeard Pirates, and his name is Peachbeard. Uh, he looks very interesting. He's just got a, very, a, a thin beard here, just a little thing right there. He's got long, looks like probably peach hair, I'm guessing, with a, a big mustache. Um, and he's got a strange hat. Well, I don't want to drop the tablet on your face. But, uh, yeah, that's that's him right there. It's kind of blurry. I apologize. There we go. So that's peach beard. Interesting. Um, what are those soldering, what are those soldering Marines going to do? Is that, um, so a bunch of ships looks like they're, or one ship looks like it's wrecked. The king's gone and he's taken his best soldiers with him. They're at the reverie. I've received my name Peachbeard from my master, Blackbeard. Remember it and fear Blackbeard. Okay, so it looks like Peachbeard is a follower of Blackbeard. It looks like he's on his crew and he is just attacking the Lulushia kingdom. Um, because the king is gone. So, interesting. Please stop this. We're a very poor people. Kill anyone that resists. Ah! Please spare us. The only money in this town is the celestial offering we have to make to the king and the celestial dragons. We barely have two pennies to rub together. And yet, if we don't pay the offering, we'll be killed. Oh my, what a horrible king. Uh, makes you pay the celestial offering, you say? Find it! And he hits the lady. Ah, uh, into... Who is that? What? Go! Morley! Oh, okay, so Commander Morley is here. From the Revolutionary Army. Interesting. Next page, page 7. Whoa, what is this? Huh? Spring, spring. Is something underground? Dush, Jesus, that's a huge trident. It looks almost like Katakuri's trident, kind of. What in the... A huge harpoon? Heave ho, heave ho. So... What is happening here? So, a bunch of stuff. Come on, baby. So, the ground is kind of swelling up there, as you can see. Then a, a big old trident comes through the ground. And a huge dude. What is this? A giant? Eve ho! Eek! What are you staring at? A giant just appeared out of the ground, and he's wearing a weird outfit. Um, he definitely does have a weird outfit. So, he's got like a kilt? on he's got a a weird belt wrapped around him that has like capsules in it um he's using that trident he's got something on his back he's got a hat on with like sabo glasses actually he's got two like tanks on his back uh oh no why are you staring like that do you all have a crush on me 
A false accusation out of the blue. That's Peach Beard. What is that old man on about? Fire, shoot him dead. And okay, so Pe uh, this this giant is gonna stab the ground with his trident. And stop it, boys! And like send the ground swelling. So it's very similar, like Pika's ability, almost where Pika could kind of cause the ground to swell and whatnot. Do the giants live in the center of the earth? I've never seen one before. What in the world is he? A marine? What the hell is this? It's like the ground's made out of clay. So he must be a clay clay guy. Hold your ground. He's probably just some sort of devil fruit user. And what are you going to do about it, huh? You useless garbage. What? Garbage? What are, you, what are we going to do to you, you say? Or what are we going to do, you say? Just who the hell are you? All of you. We are. Captain, there's two over there. Two. Yo. Hey, wait just a minute, Morley. Don't finish them off all by yourself. I got some new weapon inventions I want to try out. Captain Peachbeard, these four, they should be scattered across the globe. So first off, these dudes are looking sick, all right? Um, there's like, uh, obviously, what looks like a mink uh, character who's got all kinds of weird, look at this outfit, weird outfit. So he's got all kinds of like steampunk stuff, which is causing him to fly because it's almost like steam powered and he's like just flying off. And then this dope dude, this tall ass dude out there just looks sick. Can't really, again, see him, but... Uh, he just looks sick. He almost he looks very much like Jinzo from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! If you guys haven't seen Jinzo. Uh, so he looks dope. He's like, they should be scattered across uh, the entire globe. <clears throat> hey, you're still staring. Revolutionary Army. West Army Commander Morley. Keep it down, you trash. Revolutionary Army. East, East Army Commander Bello Betty. Let me use my new weapons, damn it. Revolutionary Army. South Army Commander Lindbergh. Revolutionary Army, North Army Commander Caruso. Commanders! And he just is like whispering. You can't really hear him. But let's check out that panel right there. That's a dope panel. Boom! All four of them. Very nice. Very nice. Revolutionary Army! Why are the four of the Revolutionary Army's commanders in this town? Ugh, boys are so violent. It's because they like you, you potato giant. Ugh, gross. Oi, can I cut loose, Betty? Why won't anyone answer the question? And why is he whispering to himself? Uh, freaking Karosu looks pissed. <clears throat> he's like, Ugh, what? Now he's snapped for some reason. <laughs> Hear me. What will you do, you worthless rascals? Die or fight? Choose your faith. Uh, choose your fate. The work of a hero shouldn't always be left to others. It falls to you. So who is that? Betty? That's, that's uh, yeah, that's Betty. So we got Lindbergh, Morley, Betty, and Karasu. And Betty has like a huge flag and she's like uh, egging everybody on. All the people that are like been beat on by the Peach Beer Pirates. She's kind of like, you know, let's do this. Um, the townspeople have taken up staves and sticks. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Are they going to try to fight us? Lind, Karasu, back them up. Got it. What's this? After that pep talk, I can feel my strength welling up inside. Interesting. So some of these... Um, some of these townspeople are like all diesel up. That could be Betty's power of uh, like, it's like a buff. <laughs> uh, drive these pirates out. Yes, that's the power of Betty's pep pep fruit. Okay, there we go. One wave of her flag awakens the inner strength of, the, of a person. Betty is freedom's standard bearer. Interesting. Perfect for the revolutionary army. Um, looks like they need to learn how much it hurts when you get shot. Eat this, cool shooter. Uh, so that's Lindbergh uh, shooting ice, uh, like ice beams. So cold. Our guns have frozen solid. And then the townspeople, you bastards, leave this place, pirates. Bam. Yeah, beating the crap out of the pirates. All right, go to the next page, bro. Oh, my God. Karosu has turned into, like, crows. Caw, caw. Wow, give those back. Those crows stole our swords. And he just stole all the weapons and whatnot. And the townspeople are just wailing on these pirates. Peachbeard, a 50 million bounty, was it? L Lord Blackbeard won't take this line down. Sorry to break it to you, but he doesn't care about his subordinates. Oi, you spineless, weak rabble. This 50 million bounty uh, uh, is yours. What? Here's the Revolutionary Army's card. You guys did good out there. Feel free to drop us a line whenever. Whenever the weak choose to rise up, we'll be there to lend a hand. Grin. Miss Bello Betty! Say, why are we getting together this time? To pick a fight with the Celestial Dragons? Perfect, I'm pumped. Also, switch your speaker on next time, Karusu. Ah, uh, I forgot. Two days till reverie. The thoughts of the world begin to whirl. The rich, these rich people gather. So, Karusu has a, sp <laughs> a speaker in his 
in his mouth. That's hilarious. How many pages are on here? Oh, this is the last page. Shoot me. Shoot me. It doesn't even show. Wow, only 14 pages? Is that right? Let's just uh, make sure by going to a different page. Because good lord, that was quick. Uh, felt quick, at least. Let's go to a, a different website and make sure. Um, but damn good chapter in introducing the four commanders. Uh, yeah, that's it. Wow, real quick chapter. Real quick chapter. Uh, didn't even give us an end, a one piece end. <clears throat> um, quick thoughts on the chapter. Pretty good, fast chapter. Um, us meeting the four commanders, kind of seeing what their abilities are. It looks like Lindbergh is a creator, an invention. You know, he creates a lot of inventions. Uh, Betty has that pep pep fruit, which should be pretty interesting, especially in dealing with uh, allies. Straw Hat Pilots, Pirates, and stuff like that. Um, who is the who's the other one? Marley. Um, still not sure what his ability is. Is it some kind of clay clay fruit? It could be. But he also had that trident that had the tanks on the back. So maybe he's injecting clay from there. Maybe it's just one of Lindbergh's invention. Um, Karasu just looks dope with the crows. But he's got to have more powers than that. From what it feels like it's got to have more powers than that anyway uh guys if you're new here and you haven't subbed onto the channel make sure you do so and uh make sure you caress make sure you touch make sure you gently kiss that like button as always this is periodic saying see ya